Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing this evening, today, whatever, whenever you're watching us? How, how's things? I had something I wanted to talk about today, and I have no clue what it was. It is now 8 p.m., and I uh, just, just finished eating after coming home late because um, on my way home, I got a text message saying that my daughter had to go to the ER. And if you're a parent, you know what that means. That means, like, mass panic. Oh, my God, what happened? I'll, I'll be right there, right? And so I rushed home. I fed the dogs, took off, and went to the ER. Of course, I got a message on the way, like, can you get some French fries? So it wasn't a, as big a deal as I expected, but I spent uh, a couple hours in the ER with her. And it's it's going to be okay. She, uh, she hurt her knee running. And, um, you know, not much they can do for it tonight. We have to get a get a um what's it called yeah get the bone doctor the joint doctor to look at it uh, as soon as we can get an appointment and uh, you know they gave her x-rays and made sure nothing was broke and uh orthopedics that's what we got to see and they put a little leg brace on her and gave her crutches and let's do this you know so it is what it is but uh as a parent you know there's nothing more panic inducing than the whole uh oh the kids going to the ER <laughs> and it's been it's it's been a while like we haven't had to go to the ER in quite a while with them and um so it was not a bad thing or it wasn't it wasn't good it was it, it, it was bad because it was oh my god what's happening we don't go to the ER when they were little um I don't know if I've ever told this story but I think Alina Alina was maybe seven six or seven because Keely was, nah, maybe she was eight. I don't know, Keely, I feel like Keely was three or four, but whatever happened, um, Alina was at gymnastics at the center and um, just going over like a gymnastics mat thing, she landed wrong and broke her elbow. Like broke the end of her, I don't know, one of these bones off, like lengthwise, pins and all that stuff and had to have it set and everything and uh that was just oh my god her arm was all like all bent in this weird way and um so she was in a cast for a month and uh the same day she got her cast removed keely was at that place uh at the same gymnastics center and fell off of a trampoline and broke her arm the same exact way as her sister same arm same everything go to the hospital same doctor and the doctor was like you know i was just joking when i said we give family discounts <laughs> and um you know we we of course told her like you know keely we, we listen you don't have to do everything your sister does uh, she had to have pins and everything i mean the, the exact same break so of course it was like i had to talk to social workers and you know, listen i didn't this isn't this isn't you know negligence or abuse or anything like that it just it happened it is what it is um so it's been uh, probably since then, like, you know, five or so years at least um, since we'd had to be rushed to the ER because one of my children is in the ER. But man, it, it, it in this last year of being in hospitals uh, with all of the family stuff that we had going on, it was, it was, uh, it was not a good day. And, and in keeping with the theme of rushing to the hospital, I got this text message Sunday. I was I was taking Keely to soccer uh, practice, and my sister tries to call me while I'm driving, and she's texting me, and she's like, "I need you to call me, and it's important." And I'm like, "I'm driving," and she goes, "Put it on speaker. This is important." And I was like, "I didn't want to do that because I had Keely with me." And immediately, when my sister, who we don't talk very often, like we talk a few times a year. When my sister is telling me this, I immediately think, what happened to my parents, right? My parents are in Florida. They're snow birds or snow owls or whatever. They go down to, they go down to Florida for the winter. And so I was immediately expecting horrific news, right? So I didn't want to turn on speaker with Keely in the car expecting horrific news from them. So we get to soccer practice. I go outside and I call my sister. And um, this whole time, I'm like, I was probably 20 minutes in the car. Like, I'm trying to hold in panic because I'm positive that maybe one of my parents isn't coming back from Florida or something like that. And uh, that wasn't the case. 
but equally as bad, uh, we we lost one of our one of our shed uh, friends. Um, she was a uh, one of my bestest childhood friends, uh, Carrie. And, um, we lost contact for a lot of years and recently within the past year or two have made contact again. Uh, and she immediately like fell in love with the show. She's been watching ever since and commenting on Facebook constantly about how, sh how proud she is of the show and me and everything that we're doing. And she just had a baby last year and, uh, she's not with us anymore. And, I don't know how to feel about it because it's like, it's, it's really terrible to lose a friend. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't, I don't know all of you like I should <laughs> as well as I should, uh, because I, I lose contact with people over the years and, you know, I've lost contact with all of my friends essentially. Um, so she'll be missed. She was a great cheerleader. But, you know, that panic, that whole, oh my God, what's happening? That's a terrible feeling. Sometimes finding out the truth is even worse. Wow, this got like, I didn't mean for it to turn like this. Sorry, I'm just gonna cut it, it's late. I need to get this wrapped up. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for watching and liking, commenting, and subscribing, and being amazing friends. And I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Kids Health. Why does your hair turn white when you get older? How's that do you have to do with kids? I have a lot of that. As we get older, the pigment cells in our hair follicles gradually die. When there are fewer pigment cells in our hair follicle, that strand of hair will no longer contain as much melanin and will become a more transparent color like gray, silver, or white as it grows. I don't know what that has to do with kids' health.